This is the action of a desperate and pathetic man. Of course, David is Ace's son. But may I tell you, I just love to see a Buchanan man squirm. Except for you, my darling. <laughs> Goes without saying, my beloved. Oh, we'd better get a room. What am I talking about? We've got the whole mansion. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I hate to interrupt this, but... Uh, read it and weep. Why? What's that? These are the DNA test results on that hair sample that I uh, plucked off your head. But that was earlier today. Mm -hmm. Well, they compared that sample to uh, Paw's DNA. It seems it doesn't match. So there it is. Conclusive proof that Asa was not David's father. So now, you get out of my house. I need to talk to Mom. Uh, she and Charlie just turned in. Is, is there a problem? No, oh, no, it's no big deal. We just wanted your mom's take on something. Tomorrow's fine. Natalie, wait. Um, Chloe's being a, a little cranky tonight, and I need to warm up a bottle, so would you mind watching her for a second? Hmm. You're not scared I'm going to steal her? I'm going to have the roadie burger. Mm -hmm. With onion rings. With onion rings. Instead of fries. Instead of fries. <laughs> If well, that's okay. Sure, you know what? I'll even double up on the rings for you, Doc. Oh, wait a minute. Come on. Let's see if I'm gonna be around to eat them. If you're not, I will. <laughs> you guys are getting along very well. Yeah. Spill. Huh? Last night, Michael and I, you know. Marcy, I'm so happy for you. Yeah, it just happened. It's totally unexpected. Which is weird, because last night was... Last night. Last night was some night. <laughs> I had a bomb shot. Boom shot, boom shot, boom shot, boom shot, boom boom shot, boom shot, Dear Mr. Rivera, congratulations. You have been admitted to the UCLA School of Theater, Film, and Television for the fall semester 2009. You got into UCLA for film studies? That's amazing. Hey, but how is that possible? You said you didn't apply anywhere but Landview University, right? Is this true? Tell me the truth. Oh, really? I did it. I spent all that time in prison because of you. It's true. I can't believe it. I'm sorry too, Christian, for having had anything to do with you marrying this woman. Give it up. We all know the first DNA tests you ran were correct. Yeah, that's how Jared faked being Ace's son. No more pulling out of my hair. <laughs> David is Ace's son. Deal with it. No, well, we would if we had to, but we don't. Seems that, thankfully, science, nature, and whatnot are on our side this time. See, the lab assured me that this test was right. But you're forgetting that Asa himself acknowledged that David was his son on the videotape that he made. Poor Mr. Buchanan. Yes, Nigel. Asa went to his grave thinking that this con artist was his son. This is the kind of amateur theatrics I've come to expect from Clint. But you, Bo, shame on you. <laughs> what did you do? Steal this piece of stationery from the hospital lab and, and then... Write in these fake results, hmm? No, Dr. Dorian. I knew that you would see through something like that. We were as surprised by these results as you are. Only in a good way. See, the lab ran the uh, samples at least twice. There's no doubt that sample that uh, Jared used must have been compromised somehow. So, David, you're broke again. How's that feel? Cold. Yeah, well, it's about to get colder. You can expect divorce papers within, oh, I'd say about an hour. Oh, honey, we're home. <laughs> hey, 
You still love me, don't you? I'm not going to accept this flimsy piece of paper as proof of anything. Give me your cell phone. Please. What? I am... I'm going to call the lab and have my own DNA tests done. Yeah, do that. Go for it, honey. <laughs> so you killed Lola's mother? No, I didn't kill anyone. You just confessed in front of all of us. I meant that I framed Ray for her murder. Maldita, <laughs> you stole my father away from me. You what? wrecked his life. Why? Why would you do that? Tell us a story, Vanessa. What did we ever do to you? It was my plan from the start. What was? I read about Ray in the paper. That his, that his wife was killed. And he was rich. So you seduced him. It was, uh, what, about a, about a year after my wife died, you know? I was alone, I was, I was trying to raise Lola with no mother. Go on, Vanessa. I only planned on staying married to Ray long enough for it to count. Count for what? <laughs> so you could get half? And along the way, turn an innocent girl against her own father? A grieving kid without a mother. You sent an innocent man to prison. No! I sent a guilty man to prison. I'll be right back. So, you guys had a good time with the game. The best. There was this power play in the third period. Oh my god, Boomer Racine. Uh oh. Boom, 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 boom! Oh my god. He had to be there. I am so hard. Can you have some drinks, Gage? Okay, I definitely just sound like a jerk. Oh, sorry. No, no, it's fine. I'll get them. It's my job. You okay? Yeah. Why would I be? I mean, I'm thrilled that I've been slaving at work while you and our son and my sister have been having a blast at a game I was supposed to be at. You know what? Shane and I would have had a lot more fun if you had been there. You love my children, and they love you. And there's no one else in the entire world that I would trust more to take care of them. We'll watch Chloe Jessica. Go ahead. Thank you. Baby. Oh. Hello, little pumpkin. I've missed you today. Jessica, she's trying. Jared, I am not backing away from this. I need to know why Jess or Tess or whoever it was went to the hospital that night with Chloe and then went back to the cottage without seeking any sort of medical attention for either. Wait a minute. What? What if she didn't bring Chloe to the hospital and just took care of herself and left Chloe all alone at the cottage? Natalie, we Does don't that know- seem like someone that, who should be taking care of the children right now? No, it doesn't, okay? But neither does Nikki Smith or Gene Randolph or any of your mom's other alter personalities should be taking care of kids or grandkids. My mom got help. Yeah, well, not before she really screwed up Jessica and messed up your life, too. Why are you bringing my mom into this? You want to punish Jessica for having a disease that's not even her fault? Do you think that it's a good idea to leave this child alone with someone who could have been capable of leaving her all by herself in a cold cottage right after she was born? We'll tell your mother about this tomorrow. Yeah, well, you know what? I wish I could talk to her about it right now because I need to know why Jessica went to the hospital. Maybe we should ask her. Ask me what? 